Just when you were sad that you were sick of media news? Well, here's some more. Well, spank my ass and call me Charlie. <laughs> media news, episode 59, the flavor of concrete. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for Media News. And joining me in the outhouse for Media News is the one, the only, the guy who looks just like David Tennant's Doctor Who, <laughs> JR. Hey, it's good old JR. And we're here today to do an all comic section of comics. Media News. It's a whole comic, comic show. Comics, 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 and nothing but comics. First up, the big story is Superman. Yeah, there's David all Goyer. David, David Goyer. And Chris Nolan. And Chris Nolan. We talked about this. It's been all over the internet. Chris Nolan, who does the Batman films, directs them, and co-writes them, mm -hmm. uh, is in charge of Superman now. Yes, he is. All right, now, the latest deal is is that uh, his brother, Joshua Nolan, who all yes. co-writes the Batman movies with Chris Nolan and David Goyer, is co-writing the Superman movie with David Goyer. Really? Okay. This is why David Goyer left Flash Forward, because he's got too many movie projects on the plate right now. Is it one movie or two movies or trilogy? Superman? Or... Yeah. Is it uh, right trilogy? now it's one. Just one? Just okay. one. Uh, Warner's needs to get this off the ground pronto because of all that legal wrangling that's going on right So now. they're dipping their toe into the pool. Exactly. They're not jumping in. David Goyer said that his template for his Superman script will yes. be John Byrne's Man of Steel. The movie's okay. tentatively called Man of Steel at this point. Okay. Uh, Goyer said the reason... Will he, will he be made out of steel? Uh, he probably won't. Good. <laughs> then they have some sort of Probably handle on the character. Exactly. Japanese steel. He'll be, yeah, he will. <laughs> uh, but, okay, so his template for Superman will be the John Byrne Superman. Yeah. All right, from the Man of Steel miniseries. The reason being, and in Goyer's words, I quote, Yes. He is modern, believable, and fun. Fun? Fun. Fun. Does that mean he's not going to have an out-of-wedlock kid who's got to <laughs> float around and go, What's not Overall fun about an out of wedlock <laughs> kid? Really? <laughs> but anyway, okay, so the uh, the uh, villains for the piece will be Brainiac and Luthor. <laughs> not Luthor again. Well, yeah. You know, I'm you know, I remember that once upon a time there was a movie where Luthor was supposed to say, I'm a maniac for Brainiac. Uh, you, you think we're gonna go back to those happy days? No, I doubt it. I'm a ma remember I, folks, I really remember, doubt. I'm a maniac for Brainiac. I you heard really it here doubt first. It. So so Goyer Josh Nolan are writing the film. Now, the big rumor is is that Josh Nolan, who's never directed a film before... Oh, that's not good. ...will be given the reins to direct Superman. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's always a first time for uh, There's a oh, first time for Yeah, everything. well, we don't cut our teeth on multi-million multi dollar big deal no, projects like this. No, but his brother is overseeing everything, and oh. we, in, in Christopher Nolan, we trust. Well, why that's doesn't he just direct say. the damn thing, then? Because um, <laughs> he can't direct everything? He can't direct everything. Well, you know, it's not like we're doing a Blue Beetle movie here, for Christ's sake. It's Superman. <laughs> the reason he can't direct everything is because the other rumor is as Warner Brothers has said okay you you're doing the Batman movies directing writing blah 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 yeah. you're overseeing Superman yes. we also want you to step in and make sure everything's hunky dory on Green Lantern <laughs> and everything is ipsy pipsy with the flash so so the folks who are working on Green Lantern which has been in pre-production for some time and might is it rolling yet it's roll I believe it just started rolling so yes. this guy's gonna show up like two weeks into production say hi I'm Christopher Nola I'm in charge welcome to Hollywood <laughs> welcome to Hollywood with hi I'm in charge oh I, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. <laughs> With the ultimate aim, Warner's has said, okay, you're going to oversee all of these, and somewhere down the line, Chris, how'd you like to direct a Justice League movie? <laughs> so we'll see how that's going to play out ten years down the line. We'll probably all be dead and gone. Okay, so that's it. Speaking of Justice League, yes. or not Justice League, yeah. Green Lantern, Green Lantern, sure. Green Lantern. Speaking sure. of Green Lantern. Yeah, uh, Sinestro. Yeah, we're <laughs> here we go again. We're, 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 haven't this we beat like, this horse to death yeah, already? This is, this is the fourth time we've covered this story, but now, we, I swear, I swear <laughs> it's official. Have we finally come around to but Charlie Callis. Yes, yes. We finally come around to Charlie <laughs> no. Callis. Jackie Earl Haley. Remember we said that was a... No. Mark Strong is now Sinestro. Jeff Johns confirmed it over at his blog because he's been on the set all the time. Okay. So Mark Strong is Sinestro. Who's Jer Mark Strong? I have no idea. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> he's cheaper than Jackie Earl Haley. <laughs> oh, that's, that's who he is. That's all he's I, cheaper. That's all what, I know. What, Bo? Sherlock oh, he, that's Holmes. right. He played. He the played. Villain. One. He played the villain in Sherlock Holmes. That oh, okay. Is, that okay. is absolutely correct. Uh, you know, we can probably piggyback the Flash story onto yes, this. Yes, we can. Too. Greg Berlanti has. He's, been, he's getting so good. I know, man. I'm gonna run this by myself <laughs> one day. Bye. Ain't, ain't gonna need no comic book man. <laughs> but anyway, Greg Berlanti uh, has been hired to direct the Flash movie. Okay. And you're gonna say, who is that? Jr. Yeah. Who's Greg Berlanti? Greg Berlanti was the original screenwriter for the Green Lantern movie. 
yeah. until and direct actually director he was the original I'm sorry he was the original director for the Green Lantern movie until okay. Barton Campbell was hired by one of them. He's also done TV a lot of TV Dawson's Creek <laughs> Everwood Smallville so, yeah uh, so he's Clark he's I the, trusted you he's the man but you know Christopher Nolan's gonna come in and say none of that Everwood stuff in in my Flash movie <laughs> so there you go that's the DC end of the uh, comic book news okay that's a ton of DC news we still got a little bit more of the wanted. wanted there's a wanted story with Angelina Jolie yeah. all you guys out there holding your breath for a wanted sequel <laughs> Let it go. Release. Thank God. Release. Not happening. They've canceled the film. Why, you may they, ask? They've, they've canceled it all together? Cancel it all together. No but, sequel at all? Mm -mm. Reason being is Angelina Jolie has said, sorry, I'm moving on to other things. She's, do, she's doing a film for Alfonso Cuaron, who did Children of Men, a great sci-fi movie. So Angelina Jolie is so central to the making of a Wanted 2 that if she says no, it's it's all shit She's teamed? box office gold. Uh, she's many things. I don't know about that. Box office gold. Uh, she's going on to do Alfonso Cuaron's movie Gravity, which is an outer space thriller. Yeah. So the studio said, without her, we're not making the film. Great. Yeah. Not could, to, you know what? Could he get another set of boobs to take her place, huh? Really? Really? Did you see Wanted? Actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Wanted? No, I didn't. We're all better off. Yeah, we're all better off without a sequel. Angelina Jolie notwithstanding. Okay, last story we got. It's not really a comic story, but it sort of is. Oh, if, yeah. if you know your DC news and what's coming up. Yeah. It was shipping this week to the store. First wave is shipping, but uh, Doc Savage. Have no fear. Doc Savage. The man of bronze, bronze is, is here. here. This I love John Philip Sousa. Shane, I really do. <laughs> Shane Black. For those of you to get that reference, come in and get your gift certificate. <laughs> Shane, not really. No. <laughs> Shane Black, who wrote uh, a couple of the Lethal Weapon movies and The Last Boy Scout many, many years ago. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, has God. had this script floating around for years. For so God. that's not a new story. Yeah, that script's been going around for a few years now. Uh, so that's not new news. But what the new big news is, is that Shane has now been hired to direct the film. So he will be directing Doc Savage for Sony Pictures. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's gubernatorial career is coming to a close <sighs> very soon in California. Yes. So he can still play Doc Savage. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't. Remember that? Remember that big yeah, story oh, back sure. in the nineties that 20, Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to play Doc Savage. Yeah, and uh, you can still do it, Arnold. You can still do it. No, the only thing that Arnold could do now that he's going to be out of office and can't get reelected is, dun, 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 is start telling the truth. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> But uh, that's it. I think we're done. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. As always, though, you can read more of JR's reviews and Bo's media news at the store's website. And Sarah knows where that is. Sarah? Sheesh, we just bookmarked the page already? www.myalternatereality.com Up off at the store's website. Check out all of his reviews and all of Bo's media news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And JR saying, come to this place. Saying, come to this place and buy some comics. Bye! Oh, you sell comics? Here at Alternate Reality, we do multi-day sale-aramas every single month featuring different items here at the store. This month, we're doing the Action Man sale. What's the Action Man sale? Every single action figure I've got in the store is buy two, you get a third one free. That's McFarlane Spawn, McFarlane Sports Figures, DC Direct, Manga Action Figures, Kids Action Figures, Gaming Action Figures, Marvel Select. All of my action figures are buy any two, you get a third one free here at Alternate Reality. Don't you miss it. And this month, the Action Man sale goes on from March 8th through the 12th here at Alternate Reality. Buy any two action figures, get a third one free. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.